Hi, I'm Laura Nickerson, giving you the buzz on local news and events. Right now, I'm here with Sierra McKenzie and Noah, a.k.a. Juliet, Juliet, and Romeo. They are playing the lead roles in Romeo and Juliet, the updated version of the Shakespearean classic that's happening right here at the Calabasas High School. I can think of no better place to hang out with you and give you all that local buzz. So let's check it out while we fill you in on the buzz. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Oh, hey, I'm so glad you could make it. Hey, I don't know if you know, but a balcony gives a pretty impressive stage for an incredible speech. Now, I don't know if Mayor James Bizagian has one of these bad boys, but I do know he's got a pretty crazy speech lined up for his upcoming State of the City address. Mayor James Bizagian will be presenting the 19th annual Calabasas State of the City Address on Wednesday, November 16th at the Agora Hills Calabasas Community Center. Check-in begins at 6.30 and the speech starts at 7 p.m. Mayor Bizagian will be reviewing the city's accomplishments from the past year and outlining goals for the future. To RSVP for the free event, contact Angie Henderson at 818-224-1607 or at ahenderson at cityofcalabasas.com. And if you miss it, you can catch up right here on CTV. Move it, sister. Oops, sorry. Get him with a right and a left and a... Oh, sword fighting was the old-fashioned way that people got their exercise. Now it doesn't matter how you exercise, but you definitely should after a big meal, especially after the Thanksgiving luncheon that's being given by the Calabasas Rotary. The Rotary Club of Calabasas will host its 28th annual Senior Luncheon at the Sagebrush Cantina in Old Town Calabasas on Thanksgiving Day, November 24th, starting at 11.30 a.m. Organizers say it's a good old-fashioned community occasion in which attendees and volunteers come together to ensure a fun day for all. Call 818-564-6755 or email info at calabasasrotary.org to reserve your space. So you should go, but maybe try a different kind of exercise because, you know, dueling is a dying art. You get it? It's a dying art. It's, get it? It's, I got a million of them. Hey, uh, Mackenzie, now you're one of the Juliets, but you're not in costume right now. Why not? That's because there's two casts. I am on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening. And we're rehearsing for the other cast right now. That is correct. Cool. You want to hang out with me and do the local news? Yeah, sure. Calabasas won the America in Bloom Circle of Champions Award, which honors cities that have won at least three awards over the last several years. The Calabasas High School girls volleyball team is having an incredible run. This year's team set school records for wins, won two tourneys, and won a playoff match for the first time in 25 years. The Calabasas Classic run was held on November 6, kicking off at the Calabasas Civic Center. Measure F was not voted in during the November 8th general election. The Measure F would have approved zoning changes to accommodate a development plan involving 67 single-family homes, two duplexes, a three-story hotel, and 61 acres of open space on Las Virginis Road. And that's our local news. You killed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're welcome. Bill Garrett is the director of the show. So what's the take on Romeo and Juliet? Well, we wanted to show how it was really timeless as far as its relevancy. So um, we've tried to modernize it and do a modern reimagining of the production. Now, when does it open? It opens this coming Tuesday, November 15th. And how long does it run? It runs until Saturday, November 19th. And what makes this production really special? Uh, I think it's just been really fun seeing the students bring Shakespeare to life and us getting to bring it um, to life in a modern setting has really been enjoyable to watch. The students are doing a great job with it and I think you'll really be inspired by their work. Because it's Shakespeare, it's not like it's easy, I mean that's, that's a lot. Yeah, well they've really, they understand the language and they're doing a great job with it and it's fun to see it come from off the page up onto the stage. How do they get tickets? You can get tickets online at chstheater.com and uh, they're available online right now. I cannot wait to see it. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Huh, I'm just imagining if the play ended differently and they got together and they ran away into the forest. Well, they'd have to live out there, right? So they'd probably need some help. In fact, they should take a wilderness survival basics class. Head over to the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area Visitor Center on Saturday, November 19th from 10 a.m. to 12 noon for a free class that teaches you priorities in a wilderness survival situation. Those priorities are creating building blocks and providing the foundation for your survival kit. Call 805-370-2301 to get more information. 
Yeah, that ending would be better because the way they die and everything, it's so depressing. Oh, did I give away the ending? <laughs> um, excuse me, guys, do you have any, do you have any pie? No, that's, that's weird, they're very non-responsive. Uh, pie, anybody, do you have some, some pie? Do you have, um, cause I'd like a piece of pie. Huh, um, ooh, ah, that's, that's awkward. We're gonna just uh, move that a little bit. Uh, pie, anyone, no? All right, well, let's blow this joint because clearly they don't have any pie, but they do have it at the Calabasas Senior Center's upcoming mixer. It's just pie. It's taking place on Friday, November 18th from 3 p.m. to 4.30. There'll be trivia, games, and fun, and of course, a lot of pie. Visit CalabasasSeniorCenter.com for more info. Oh, I know why they're not giving me any pie. They're doing the mannequin challenge. Ooh, let's do that. Sorry. Just to give you a little heads up, mark your calendars for Wednesday, December 7th. The Calabasas Cares Literally Healing Festival is coming up. It's going to be at Founders Hall, and you can visit the library page at cityofcalabasas.com for all the details. So you should definitely check out Romeo and Juliet right here at the Calabasas High School. Visit chstheater.com to get all the information and the tickets. Now, normally, this is where I would say, and I'm Laura Nickerson, I'll be back soon with more of the buzz. But for this episode, I'm going to say, good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I should say good night till it be morrow. And everyone, excellence, stay trite. <laughs>